Boss Jam Arbitrage Bets. So welcome back to our channel. I want to talk a little bit about the uh, arbitrage betting and how it works. The tool, it's in the program itself of Ozjam. Um, probably wondering why I'm wearing my hat in my house. I know a lot of people do that. I just don't, but it's the power went out and I'm running with my phone. So anyway, arbitrage bets are pretty simple. The easiest way to do this or explain it is you can, it's like, it's basically getting free money. So if you bet one side of a game and another side of a game, Either side can win based off certain odds, but you have to find the right ones. If you look at these, anything that's an arbitrage bet would be a plus 117, higher than the minus, right? So you look at all these, plus 155, minus 140, plus 118, minus 110. <clears throat> what that means is this system is designed, there's an algorithm built into it, right? The algorithm in Vegas, we don't know what that is. We wish we did, but we don't, and that's okay. We get a small portion out of that money by following the data. The way we do that is use something like the arbitrage betting tool and say, all right, well, let's see. I'd have to go through, if I, if I didn't have this tool, I'd have to go through, say, FanDuel, DraftKings, Unibet, whatever system you platform you use for betting, and search every single game, every team, or all of basketball for the day and say, well, where are the odds? Let's look here, look there. And then go to a different page, like say – Say you found the Lakers on DraftKings, you'd have to go to Suns on FanDuel. So how does it work? Can you bet on the same platform? No. I would not do that because you'll probably get limited or booted off, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. So how it works is if let's say I find this arbitrage bet. All right. It's the Lakers and the Phoenix Suns. It says the Oz Jam line is plus 117 which means to us that right now in this situation, this, this point in time, I don't have an arbitrage bet set up with this line, nor do I have one with this one. Why? Because the odds jam line is the pinnacle, strongest, most sharpest line in the world. It's giving you an overview of there is one there. But you'd probably have to search all the different books. Like if I click here, it'll search the books, but I'm not going to find a positive because those lines have possibly moved. So. Also, the way this is set up is the algorithm or data points that are siphoned out <clears throat> excuse me, from Vegas, the API is being sifted through the system. It's pulling data. The data that we see is showing us this is the most profitable, best available pick we can get right now this day and time. If we click on refresh, which you can do three, four times, sometimes it'll pop up a new game because lines move fast. A lot of people don't like doing this. And I'll, I'll tell you personally, myself, I was very much against it until maybe two, three months ago. I started doing arbitrage to build my bankroll. Why? Because every time I make a, a bet that's a um, arbitrage, like on this one, there's a plus 116, a minus 110. I can do Caesars, right? Or, on, I'm sorry, on DeAnthony Melton, under 1.5 steals, I can bet one side here. I can bet the other side of the same bet on a different platform. My choice is uh, MGM or DraftKings, right? So I hope that makes sense. Now, again, we're not betting the same, the same line on the same uh, platform. We're going against different platforms. So think of it this way. It's kind of like, I guess, playing blackjack. It's me against a dealer. If there's five people sitting there, we're all playing against the dealer, right? In here... The system set up to where I'm looking at my books that I have. So we're the opponents against Vegas. And Vegas says, well, <clears throat> we'll give you these lines. Now, if I want to, I could just take the plus 116, make a bet, whatever it is. Or I could take a minus 110 based off my feelings or whatever. Or someone got a boo-boo on his finger, right? So allegedly he can't shoot today because he has a boo-boo. We don't know. But um, the point being is... It's saving you time and effort using this tool. So what I would do on a daily basis is go through and I'll find, all right, I have this bet. This little calculator calculates what I need to bet on. So on the minus line, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a hundred bucks in. Now what this does automatically for me without thinking calculates that bet from the minus 110 and the difference between the plus 116. The difference of this bet is, 1.32%, which you saw over here, right? It's $2.53. So if I make this bet today, I'll make $2.53. You're probably thinking, well, 
you know, I mean, Ken, two dollars fifty three cents. I want to, <clears throat> I want to bang out some, some uh, you know, player props and some parlays, and I want to go to the moon. Well, that's great. That's nothing wrong with that. However, if you want to be a long term successful better, I will tell you this: there's nothing better than sharp betting. Well, I can't say that. Sharp betting is one of the best ways to make money. Arbitrage is the safest way to make money because as long as these numbers match up, I can't lose. Now, what could happen is, let's say I, the challenge is, well, before I forget, $2.53. Let's say I made one bet per day at $2.53 times 30 days. That's $75.90. You're probably thinking, eh, it's not worth my time. So you're telling me that if I did this, I went through here, and I looked here, I refreshed, blah, blah, blah. No, no bet, no bet. Oh, there's a bet. I click here, I type in a hundred bucks. It calculates it for me. It does the math for me without thinking. And I just have added to my bet tracker. And then when I put it in, the other part of it is I have to go to Caesars and MGM, go there, find it, find Mel Melton, enter it, find the other one, enter that, push two buttons. Yes, yes, I want to bet this amount, that amount. And I'm done. Come back to my bet tracker. Go here. Like I said, I have my hundred boxes in there. <clears throat> I am at my bet tracker. I hit save, and I'm done. This whole video length is probably so far what five six minutes. Now, if I can make seven two dollars and fifty three cents in seven minutes times, let's say what twenty minutes a day, that's fifty bucks. If I spend a couple hours on here. Finding three, four, let's say I found five bets at so 253, right? So 253 times, I'm doing this because I like math. And you have to understand in your brain, math is everything in betting because data is data-driven math. Everything's connected. So let's say I made five arbitrage bets at $2.53 times five. That's 12 bucks a day. If I did that for 30 days a month, that's $397. I have to just find five for 379 bucks. That's a car payment for some people. That's, you know, a couple utility bills. Maybe that's your electric bill and your, your phone bill. Or maybe that's your, you know, I mean, if you got kids, maybe that's your phone bill for, you know, your family of four. So what if I only spend an hour a day making 300 bucks a month? That's not a bad return, right? Does it take time? Yeah, it does. But you got to remember, the time you take in studying and reading, well, you know, the Brooklyn, here's what I hear a lot. The Brooklyn Nets are, you know, blah, blah, blah against the spread. And the Sixers are blah, blah, blah against the spread. But this other team doesn't play well on this day. But Thursdays, they play better than that day. And on and on and on. The data will never stop, right? The data as far as who's playing, head-to-head -head competitions, all the numbers involved in that, who's better at threes, where they're playing at who the refs are, I mean, you know, spin rates in baseball, on and on and on. I love all that stuff. But at the end of the day, personally, I think if you break it down to simplistic things, if you look at anything or anyone that's been successful, they do the simplest of things. I'll give you a really good example. <clears throat> Excuse me. In Saline, Texas, I'm pretty sure it's Saline, Texas, there's a football team, the high school team, has won, I think, in fact, let me look it up while I'm talking. I think it's 55 state championships. Football. High school football. Selena High School Championships. Mm. So <clears throat> it's not Selena. No, well, maybe it is. Selena, Selena. One of the teams there, I remember, they are – so this team, Selena High School, it's not Selena. Most successful programs in Texas, eight state titles, a 69-game winning streak. One of these schools has one thing in common, which reminds me of a lot of different things in life. The one thing they have in common in that school, in that program for football, they do one thing really good. They run the exact same plays from peewee football – to middle school, to high school, all the way through. They have like 18 or 20-some plays. That's all they do. 
And you're going to tell me that you need to go out and chase all this other information about, you know, well, the public's betting on this team and -and so-and-so said about this team and blah, blah, and the score and, you know, okay, you can do that if you want to. However, we're showing you an easier way to gather information. And at the end of the day, I don't care who plays who. When you're doing arbitrage betting, it's real simple. Like I said, I can go down here and say, okay, well, Brooklyn, I don't know who Nick Clay, Clay, let's see how many people I know on here. I've heard of Patrick Beverly. I've heard of DeAnthony Melton. Uh, Nick Clayson, no. Milton again. Russell Westbrook, heard of him. Hurt, Herter, no. Ben Simmons, heard of him. Brown, on and on. I don't know many of these players. I don't follow basketball. But I make money in basketball. Why? Arbitrage betting is one way. And another way is using the OzJam tools of positive EV, EV, right? So it's easy to do these things. And again, like I said, let's say I did it this one over here. I put my hundred bucks in. You know what? You could do 50 bucks, whatever it is. It's only a dollar. Eh. Well, I can't, how can I build my bankroll on a dollar? I, what if I only have a hundred dollar bankroll? It's okay. Just do five bucks. It's only 10 cents. Okay. Let's say you win a couple bets today. That, this sounds ridiculous down to the very 10 cents, but you know, if you have a hundred dollar bankroll, I would probably do maybe like twenty five. Oops, I'm sorry. Do like twenty five bucks. Now I can make fifty cents. If I do ten a day, I make five bucks. And again, five bucks times thirty is one hundred fifty dollars. That pays some of your bills for the month. That's how I look at that. Now, let's say I can do a hundred bucks. Two dollars. If I did five a day at ten bucks, again, that's three hundred bucks a month, right? I know you can use an ex- and the good thing is you're not betting on this, you're not gambling, you're guaranteeing yourself money that at the end of the day, you know when you go to sleep at night, if it's not too late at night, whatever, you wake up and go, Oh, I did five or ten arbitrage bets at two bucks uh, two bucks a pick. I made 10, 15, 20 bucks, and so on and so on. So again, you know, this is a little bit tedious because what happens is sometimes in fact, let me get off here. Look at that right there. 4.76 at 100 bucks. Oops. Uh, let's go over here. Oh, there we go. Well, this is even better. Look at that. This is a good one. They're both plus money. This won't, I'm probably not going to make this bet because when I go back and try to find it, it's probably not going to be there. In fact, let me see if I can find it right now because that's important. If it's 100 bucks on each side, look, I make 10 bucks. Imagine if I could find five of those a day at 50 bucks times 30. <laughs> You're making you're making a decent little profit there, right? Um, let me see. Log in. I don't know what screen you can see. Let me try this here. You gotta do it on two because I can't see from one. Pick this one. <clears throat> That is money line, Ole Miss. So the reason this works so well is because State, Ole Miss, yeah. The reason this works so well is because <clears throat> when these lines change, what that means is Vegas made a mistake. And we're exploiting their mistake, right? By finding something in the in the in the numbers that doesn't make any sense, meaning, you know, what happened. So what's this? 110 and 110. Oh, the money line. All right. All right, Mississippi State's 110. Now I'm going to go to, is it basketball? Oh, I think it's basketball. Let's go to basketball. We'll go to, if we get this, it'll be It'll be amazing. See, now it's not there. So we, we basically just missed it. Now, what that means by missing it means that, you know, we were trying to find this line. But if I go refresh, it's probably going to be gone. See this right here? Watch. It's gone. Well, no, it's right there. So it's still available, right? So if you're out there and you don't have this program, sign up for free. Ozjam down below. There's also a coupon if you want. If you do, do your seven days for free. If you like it, you want to sign up. There's a code, uh, Ken something. 
I think it's up here. It's uh, Ken, 32421. So what that means is if you refer someone, you both get 100 bucks. So I get 100 bucks, you get 100 bucks. If you want to build your bankroll, we get 100 bucks and do a free bet for 100 bucks on a nice money line for $450 at, you know, whatever. Or do, I don't know, whatever you want. Two bets at 50 bucks is free money just for signing up. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please comment below. Um, comments, swear words, funny jokes, whatever you got, we'll take it. Um, <clears throat> thank you so much for joining our channel and hope to see you soon. Take care.